So uh, copy me if you haven't already done this, then you want to draw a line that goes down, right? As you get more animals, you're going to get, uh, as you get more animals, you're going to get less balloons. So you're going to get less balloons as you get more animals. And this is inaccurate. I'm just giving you a sense of like a little bit of a sense of how this works, okay? Basically, what you really need to see in this diagram is that there's a, a relationship. It's called, it's going to give you negative slope. Okay, so again, the, how many balloons does Amira use for each balloon animal? How many does she use? Um, let's look at that. I'm just going to erase this now because we don't need it. Uh, anybody have any idea on that one? We go like this. And we go like this. We compare that. The number of balloons sold and the remaining number of balloons on any given day. Uh, we've got a difference here of 24, this X value and Y value. If we look at M, the slope, and we calculate it, we're going to get Y2 minus Y1, or the change in Y over the change in X. That's rise over run, X2 minus X1. So you can see this is rise over run, and M equals rise over run. It also equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 uh, and this is this is going to be your x1 y1 right here and your x2 y2 is going to be right over here you're going to see that on the screen in just a moment it just takes there's a little bit of a time lag so you're going to see x1 x2 labeled as they just starting to appear now again x1 y1 is the first point 15 200 and then the second point is x2, y2, 24, 1, Those are your coordinate points, and that is what tells you what to put into the formula for slope. And this is super important. It's the formula for slope. Um, so now we just plug them in, and we get, does anybody have an answer to this? 200 minus 160. Uh, y2 minus y1, I'm sorry, it's messed it up here. Let me do that again. So when we plug this in, it's going to be y2 minus y1, which is the rise over the run, right? So it's 164. And notice that's going to be a negative number. Well, that's normal because it's going down. It's a slope that's negative. It's y2 uh, minus y1. So hold on. 164 minus 200, and then over x2 minus x1, 24 minus 15, and you'll see that in a moment on the screen. So as you can see on the screen here, you've got your y2 minus y1, which is 164 minus 200, over x2 minus x1, which is 24 minus 15. So make sure you're writing these notes down, uh, and then we don't have to go around the room twice. You can see you've done it the first time through. So again, this is the formula for slope that we're using in the table to understand how the graph works, understand the word problem, and ultimately we want to find how many balloons does this mirror use for each balloon animal. So how many does she use for each balloon animal? Does anybody know the answer to that? How many balloons does Amira use for each balloon animal? Uh, what do we get when we get this answer? We've got 164 minus 200. 24 minus 15 is 9. What's 164 minus 200? It's going to be minus 36. And hopefully that's an even number, and I believe it's going to be. So we've got minus 36 over, and this is going to give us the slope, right? So basically, that is going to be negative 4. So um, how many balloons does she use for each one? She uses four balloons for each animal. Because it tells us the slope, that means the amount of, of balloons she uses per animal. And that's why we have a graph to describe that. So again, 
this is going to give us the step down. If we were to do this one step at a time, right? If we remember those step ladders, we go one step at a time, a little thing like that. We go, so we show how we, we're going down the ladder, right? So we're getting, we're having, we're getting more animals out here, but we're getting, we're using up balloons. So um, that's what happens when we find the slope. And this is the slope triangle. Uh, and this again, the thing is, some of you don't know the formula for slope. You've got to remember it or, you know, somehow memorize it, but just use it. If you use it a lot, as you will, that's the formula for slope, guys. And again, this is all being recorded. This will be on the video so you can watch this again and again. Um, and there it all is. So uh, let's have a look around the room. Hopefully everybody's been watching and doing it and, you know, engaged in it, trying it out when they first started. And then we go from there. Yeah, good job. Nice one, Artine. Very nicely, thoroughly done. And you got your answer. Good job. And this has got the graph as well. So that's awesome. Thank you, Luke. Uh, Skylar, nice job. And everything is there. And Skylar's got the full deal. She's got the entire package. And similarly, so does Estrella. Good job. Way to go. You guys have got the, the full package. Kevin, I know you've had some internet problems. Uh, Gabriella, full package. Good job. Full Again, package. full package would be this one. Skylar's got everything labeled, everything written. She's got the answer. Uh, and that's a full package deal, guys. She's done a great job with that. Give her a hand. Same thing with Astrea. Full package. Got the graph. Got the table. Figured it all out. Rise over run. Shows how the formula was derived. And then knows exactly what what is needed. The grand, great job, Gabriella. So these full package deals are great to see. All right, guys, it's time to go to the breakout rooms. Are there any questions before we do that? Any questions at all on this kind of problem? Remember, this is going to be uh, on one of the videos that's going to be put up right there with the assignment, so it's going to help you. Any questions at all?